good morning we are from SVS embedded the project title name is called a real time GPS GPRS based vehicle tracking and navigation system displayed on Google map based website so we prepared one web page and uh, that web page is uh, www.svsembedded.com slash vt vehicle tracking and in our project we are using the power source step down transformer bridge rectifier filter capacitor and one regulator so in our project we used an arm 7 lpc 2148 and we used a 16 cross 2 lcd display and we used this GPS a Rasta 634 or a 65 channel GPS module and we used one GPRS modem SIM 900 we used and one speed sensor and another one is the engine temperature sensor and a reset and one crystal it was uh, given to the ohm processor And we designed one website uh, svsembedded.com slash vt in that it was showing as the presented status time with respect to speed a temperature and we can clear the data and it will update the data onto the Google map where it was started actually my location it starts from here and I am going for here and the vehicle is moving somewhat distance and I get back to my home with with uh, return back so this was a design Google map uh, web page taken the Google map we designed SVS embedded website and one uh, receiver unit we will get back one receiver receiving SMS at the same time it, it, it will plot the actual value on the updated status I'll show you it will continuously blinking blinking means actually it was there okay in that Google map it will show you the present asset present status with respect to where it is exactly okay so we will go in our hardware part so in our hardware we designed two kits one is for the vehicle 1 and another one is for the vehicle 2 ok so here this is for vehicle 1 and this is for vehicle 2 why because of this is a transformer based kit and this is a battery operated kit I was tested this is a real time ongoing road ok on the road I was tested this kit and it was plotted on the graph and website so each and every in microcontroller I taken a uh, 12 volt transform uh, 12 volts battery power source here I was taken 1 amp for the GSM modem and here the GPS I was taken 1 uh, 8 volts power supply so entire it was kept in my vehicle I checked in a real time so that was uh, displayed on my website and it will show you the status of back end it will show you the data also let us start from our microcontroller here we we taken two transformers why because of this transformer for sharing to another this transformer for the GSM modem here I am using an LPC 2148 as it is SVS embedded development board and here a uh, total 64 pin IC having two ports port 0 and port 1 port 0 we are using an UART 0 and UART 1 port 0 0.0 .0 and 0 0.1 and port 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 UART 0, 0, 0, 0 0.0 UART 1 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 so here the LCD it will show you the display of the temperature sensor temperature sensor and the speed sensor that value should be displayed on the LCD nothing but a dashboard ok let us going for the transformer bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator and this board we required a low power consumption LPC so that's why we used an LM3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator 
and here I'm using an uh, max 232 IC level converter and voltage level stabilization purpose we used so here I was used one uh, GSM modem sim 900 so I was enable the internet so uh, so I used an ATL sim card sim card so I was taking a 2G modem 2G so I, I recharge with some amount as it is some balance so when I when I on the GPRS commands so sim 900a eh, when I uh, on the GPRS commands then only it will send the latitude and longitude with respect to temperature and speed updated to my website so we gone for one uh, uh, software programming okay so here and GSM modem here here GPS Rasta 634 or 65 channel GPS module so in this also bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator and LED 1 max 232 and this GPRS uh, G, GPS will take the latitude and longitude from the satellite with respect to speed also when we are moving on the road we will capture the speed okay so so if if you are going for this if you are going for this this for the battery so here the battery on on button is there okay advanced vehicle tracking on google map earth using gps arm 7 website and a gps so, so i need to on the gsm modem okay i need to on the gps okay so it will take the actual value so i need to start again advanced vehicle tracking system on google earth map using gps and gprs om7 website okay so when it is on it will show you the temperature and well as well as the speed of the vehicle okay so it will show you uh, i will go with a transformer based so when I on the power supply, it will show you that on my website. After that, it will show you the temperature and the speed of the vehicle. Okay. So we used one speed sensor. That speed sensor will show you that according to the first two, what it is the speed. So here that power supply on, here also the power supply on, here also the GPS is getting the data with on and off blinking. So first of all, it will show you the T for temperature as per the speed. Okay, now, now I'm changing the speed. You can uh, observe on it. Okay, uh, so after the 20 counts is over, it will take the latitude and longitude that was displayed on the LCD. Exactly, latitude and longitude. So it was sent through GPRS using a SIM 900A. We are sending the GPRS data to my website actual values should be updated on to my website and after that after that after five counts is over then i i will receive one sms like vehicle uh, latitude point and longitude point this was the speed and the temperature in this mobile only i will receive okay so you can observe on my uh, present status okay so we have an another website that is one another page it will show you the data what are the data we are getting okay so updated data this time i was get this is the latitude and longitude point okay this is the page okay so this is an gprs and gps and gprs based vehicle tracking system for we, we will use this project for an school kit school kit purpose or in vehicle purpose or an ambulance purpose or in bus transportation purpose on road vehicle transportation purpose we can use many more we can get back these data from our website to the minute to minute we can watch where our vehicle is moving thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to as we are somebody and subscribe you will get more videos bye